I'm a kid from a small town. People wonder what it's like to speak to arenas full of people, to travel the country, working hard every day to inspire people. I'm on a mission to say that with deep motivation and high performance habits, you can be extraordinary. This is what it looks and feels like to be me, Brendan Burchard. Through your mind, you know, 30 minutes before you're going on stage to 20,000 people. Make producers happy. Number one, whoever's putting on the show, just absolutely celebrate them, honor them because they gave you the opportunity. Number two, don't think about yourself. And right now, I'm just, I'm getting excited. Like, I feel anxiety like anybody else does, but my whole thing right now is like, I just want to have fun. I want them to have fun. I want them to have takeaways. I want them to be inspired. And it's a total focus on them. That's it. So now I just remind myself to be a geek because it's so easy to be on stage and be like, la, 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 la. instead, I'm gonna go on stage and be real, but allow myself to geek out about the things that are important to me, you know, and show them my enthusiasm for what I'm teaching, for what I care about, um, and really just connect with their heart at one level, but then also make the speech like this. You know, I want them laughing, I want them surprised. I want them deep in their heart. I want them thinking about their family. I want them thinking about their career. So the whole speech should just move and dance. And that only happens if you can be loose and happy and enthusiastic for what you're doing, so. Okay, hey y'all. It's a quick update from the road on the book tour for my new book, High Performance Habits, How Extraordinary People Become That Way. And I thought I'd give you a little inside look. I don't know if you've ever been on a book tour, but I thought I'd give you sort of a look at it. The last couple weeks, it has been all hands on deck as I've traveled everywhere starting to share the message about high performance habits. It's a book about the six habits that most correlate with your ability to succeed over the long term. So not just about you know what gets you in the game with initial success, but what helps you maintain long-term success in your career, in your health, in your personal relationships. And what's powerful is we conducted the world's largest and certainly most comprehensive study of high performers worldwide. What are the habits that they do deliberately and consistently that allow them to succeed? Anyway, I've been talking about that and I thought I'd give you an inside look at the tour. I went out to Los Angeles and did interviews with Larry King and Lewis Howes and then I went and uh, met with my Oprah Winfrey Network friends to talk about our new course and then it was just man speech after speech I went to uh, and spoke to 20,000 people at the Superdome in New Orleans went and spoke to 20,000 people in Los Angeles at the Anaheim Convention Center just getting back to speaking to another thousand some people in uh, on the East Coast and I'm telling you, it's been such a blessing to share this message and see its impact with people. And I, with that, I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour. Let me walk you through my last couple weeks. I thought you'd get a kick out of it. We start with my trip to Los Angeles. Okay, we're in LA and uh, I'm heading over to Larry King's show to do an interview for High Performance Habits, which we're stoked about. It's probably the fifth or sixth time I've done an interview with Larry, uh, either me interviewing him or him interviewing me, and I still feel like I'm gonna throw up. It could be the Huevos Francheros, but I definitely am a little concerned about it, but I'll be great. I've got Jess Manning with me, and the guys from Kajabi. What's up, guys? Hello! Hey. Got my suit on, good to go. This is kind of the cool back area that he's got all these amazing celebrities up on the wall, and it's super cool in here. And I'll show you the studio real fast. So I'll show you inside here. Welcome to Larry King Now. Our special guest is one of my good friends and one of the most talented people I know, Brendan Burchard. He's one of the most successful coaches in the world today. Brendan is a New York Times best-selling author whose videos have been viewed over a hundred million times online. Today we'll be talking about his new book, High Performance Habits, How Extraordinary People become that way. When's it coming out? September 19th. Look, you're a busy man. Do you deal with anxiety and how do you cope? Mm, I used to deal with anxiety, a lot of it, especially before a big speech or an interview. I still get nervous all the time, 
And uh, like Bruce Springsteen says, you know, he'd, he'd retire if he didn't feel nervous backstage. So I think it's really important that sometimes nerves are okay. Great talk with you. Man. Great scene, Russell. Brendan Burchard, the book High Performance Habits, How Extraordinary People Become That Way. It's coming your way in September. And you can find me on Twitter at King's Things. I'll see you next time. I never know what I'm saying, you know? Okay, so we did it. Finished awesome, awesome time. With Eric King, as always, he's been such a huge inspiration of my life. So being in his studio and getting to do an interview with him and, and doing courses together has been a huge honor of my life. And I hope you guys enjoy the interview. Right now, High Performance Habits, this book is going to change your life. Go get it right now, High Performance Habits. Make sure you go follow Brennan right now on Instagram. I love you, Lewis! And say I, I love you! <laughs> I love Lewis House! <laughs> Perfect. Welcome everyone back to the School of Greatness podcast. We have an exceptional human <laughs> being, Brandon Bouchard, in the house. Good My to man. See you, man. Such an honor to be here. I'm very excited for Me this. too. I'm excited to talk about your new book, among many things, which is called High Performance Habits. How extraordinary people become that way. So if you haven't already picked this up, I've already been talking about it. Make sure you go get it right now on Amazon. You can go to Brendan.com. You can go to Barnes and Noble. You can go anywhere where books are sold. Get this book. You spent the last two, three years researching yeah. consistently, constantly on how people become extraordinary. Yeah. And I'm I'm obsessed with greatness. I know you I'll, love this stuff. This is why I knew this interview would be amazing. It's like we could vibe on this all day long. Exactly. Yeah. I probably haven't done the in-detailed research, like the scientific. Yeah. Uh, it's a mess in my room this morning and it super sucks because I'm crazy sick right now and being on the road when you're sick and speaking can be brutal, especially, you know, this week I so wanted to enjoy it because I get to first, uh, it's kind of the first time I get to talk about high performance habits but oh my gosh, I'm barely alive. <laughs> so I've got some kind of crazy cold um, and I got to do the interview with Larry King this week and Lewis Howes and the Oprah Winfrey Network, Success Magazine, Beachbody, like all these big meetings while I'm out on the road and I don't feel good. But it's kind of like that's part of, the, it's part of the journey a little bit is you don't really get the choice when you're trying to lead others of like how you feel sometimes. Uh, naturally, you have to summon and generate the energy you want. So. I'm a, I'm a mess right now, but I'm gonna do about 20 minutes of yoga, hit a really cold shower to wake myself up, um, do some calisthenic stretches and some body qigong to open up my body and my meridians, and uh, iron a few shirts, and then I'm gonna hit the road. And uh, today we're heading over to the Oprah Winfrey Network to talk about the launch of another one of my new courses with them called Reignite Your Life. And so when you go to meet with the Oprah team, you don't wanna look like this. <laughs> so it's time to get ready. So my favorite thing about the own headquarters here, for sure, is the design is beautiful, but also on all the walls, they have this huge, I mean, look how huge this is, right? Uh, pictures of Oprah. Over here, um, there's Oprah with Maya Angelou, who I love, so if you shoot that over there, that's super cool. There's a huge, huge poster, so it's just, it's, it's, it's really beautiful because it captures the spirit of her show. And we love that about this entire place. So it's always an honor to be here and be working on the courses with the Oprah team because they're caring, they're compassionate, they're the best practice in the world. They've advised me a lot, my brand, and I really love it. I don't know, day two or three of our meetings in Los Angeles, which I'm so excited about. And today I am hanging out with Beachbody, where my famed friends, Tony Horton, created P90X, 
and Shaleen Johnson created TurboFire and TurboKick and Payo. Uh, you know, most of America has worked out with somebody from Beachbody. So I'm hanging out with them, talking with our CEO today about how we can help them with some online marketing. And also, I'm speaking at their convention to like 25,000 people at the Superdome. So it's a kind of a conversation about what I might be speaking about on stage and about how I might be able to help the company. So this is really cool stuff. I feel like I'm gonna die, uh, which is funny because you know this is health and fitness today, but um, I'm still recovering from that cold I told you about. So it's been a long day, long trip in Los Angeles, but I'm super stoked. Last meeting, then I get to go home to my lady. How are you? Good morning, man. Good to see Good you. Good you. So I'm in Minneapolis right now and I don't really know how this is going to go. My hope is I can fly over to, I think it's Bradley International Airport. Uh, my sister can pick me up. She lives near there. Say hello, see my little buddies, my little nephews. You've seen them in the vlog. Then uh, get transported to a helicopter pad somewhere, fly the helicopter down to where uh, my friends are, then go up to New York City to do a a uh, series of interviews, including one with Marie Forleo, see the Oprah Winfrey production team. Um, holy cow, it's a lot. Um, but this is kind of the fun thing when you're doing book launches. You actually never know exactly where you're going to be or what's going to happen, but I kind of love that part of it all. So my buddy heard about this uh, helicopter idea of mine, and uh, this is the text he sent me. And then this more even supportive one right there. <laughs> All right, let's get out of this place. So uh, it's the next morning, and I am in a car with New York Times best selling authors Nick Ordner, Alex Ordner, and Jess Ordner. Well, he's had it. And that New York Times best-selling author, yeah. It's true. It's yeah. two out of three. Hey. Oh, right. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. Stop begging on the non-New York Times best-selling authors, people. Man, just a total, I mean, no. you really got to be qualified yeah. these days. Yeah. So what's happening... That's why he's a driver. Is it, is, is it turned out that it works out, we are, are able to catch a helicopter to New York today. Which is really exciting because it's your first time in a helicopter! Yes, I'm so excited! And you look so pretty, you're talking to Cosmo Thank today. Thank you, yes. I'm speaking at Cosmo and Seventeen Magazine. I happen to have a meeting and I happen to get a helicopter ride there, so We were like, you. this worked out so good. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm, so I'm excited. excited for you. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. This is going to be awesome. It's so pretty here. Look how great it is. Okay, on the streets of New York, just uh, finished an interview with Marie Forleo, which was super awesome, and she's darling. I'll make sure I get you guys a link to it. And uh, I'll tell you what, if you ever do a tour in New York, the main thing is to just enjoy it and to spend a lot of time just walking. And as you're walking around, just be present with everything, because you'll be so good in your interviews when you're present. And nothing like New York to pull you right into paying attention to things. I really enjoy it and love it is in the book. I read it, it's fantastic. It just works. That means just release tension, Yep. set intention. It's just, your transitions are where most people's bleeding out their energy and they don't know. And if we can just get you four or five times of transition really well throughout the day, every morning in the shower. Because we all don't every day. Let's not every morning. Not. No, we do not. It just doesn't happen. It does not it doesn't happen. It happen. <laughs> I told you, like 24 hours ago, I was staying in a barn in the woods at a friend's house. Yes. Um, <laughs> but the second thing I ask myself in the, in the shower every morning is, what might happen today that could trip me up? And she just showed up for some guacamole. Hi! It's Marie Forleo. She's the best ever. Marie, thank you for the interview. What did you think? 
Um, I thought you did fantastic, and I thought we had a great time. It was nice to have you in the studio, finally, because our last interview was years ago, and it was on Skype. So this is much better. <laughs> and now someone's calling me, and I'm not going to... Okay, I hope you enjoyed that look into what we're doing. So I thought I'd show you uh, just highlights from two of my recent trips um, that were just awesome. One was in New Orleans at the Superdome. Uh, that was a uh, beach body convention that was about 20,000 people. And then uh, another convention in Los Angeles at Anaheim. So I thought I'd give you a little bit behind the tour source so you can see what it's like to be in my life and to be practicing these high performance habits. Check it out. Team beach body. <laughs> We're totally dressed. I met your wife, dude. We're totally yeah, see, see? That's she's she's great. Yeah, she's beautiful kind of and she's smart and yeah, she's I don't know what she's doing with you, man. I don't have a clue. You got so lucky you I me. genuinely don't know what she's doing. Uh, you know, you're alright. You're alright. So I have, I have, I'm going to do some fun stuff out there and get you get them really revved up for you. I need to get super revved up. Oh, you got works. a big one here, though. I should get you. Yep, you got to get me. That's oh! Oh, God! <laughs> yep, that's warm. That'll do you. That's God, that's really painful. That one right there. That's just painful. <laughs> so pain. You know, that's painful. It is. It is. <laughs> so you know, when I was in San Diego, I'm gonna tell tell this story because I think it's funny. And we're backstage, and I had never been to one of your events. At, uh, you know, doing a presentation like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he's exactly. looking at me, he's going, "How are you feeling? How are you doing?" I go, "I feel good. I feel relaxed." And right before I go on stage, he comes up to me and he says, "He says to me, don't screw it up." <laughs> I was like, Oh my gosh, man. Okay. I think I could just, I could just go like this. Boom. And then back up. No, what I was going to do, you want to come in again. You want to come in tight. So I'll show you. I'll show you. Here. So you want to be here. So you kind of want to go down with some momentum. Okay. All right. And when you go down, you kick up and then kick through. I just kind of don't want to know what's coming. Oh. I'm going to be like, you know. I, I don't want to say, but some like, you know, I'm just, you know, hanging out with Tony Horton. You never know what's going to happen. He might still, he might just go, you know, donkey kick. You know, just kind of like sudden. Oh, all right. Like, <laughs> it's like, so walk into it. Can you show me how to walk yeah, into it? Yeah, so I walk into it. This is gonna, if I fall, I'll leave you better, right? Yeah, <laughs> drama. People love the drama. Okay. Yeah, come on, Tony Horton, and then just before you know it. Mm. Oh, I could have, man, with, with the stuff on. Yeah, it's a little hard. It's, Okay, like but when you when you you want to keep tight, you don't want to go into that plank position, or it's because it's like, <laughs> so, so here's what I'm thinking: yours in the plank, pile flip, pile flip. Oh, oh, beautiful. All right, all right. 
I have I'm no glad idea. you got this all worked out. Man. I literally, <laughs> me too. I have no idea. Yeah. But you know what? If you, you, you know, if you're not taking risks, who knows? Hey, man. You know, I'm not known for my athleticism on stage, right? No, so, you know, but so you know, you know, you know like this. Oh, that was nice. This here, then hey. <laughs> That's beautiful. The stuff you need before a speech. I mean, who, who would have thought it, you know? You can't come in this far, though. <laughs> <laughs> pleasure of introducing Mr. Brennan Bouchard. Um, yes, there you go. Now, Brendan is a, a personal friend. He and I co-created my, my course, Living Large, and he's, he's smart, he's thoughtful, he's funny, he's authentic, he's truthful, um, and he's one of the best at what he does in his business. And I kind of Googled some of his credits, so I just kind of, for those of you who don't know who he is, I want to let you know this man's journey and how much he's accomplished. Brennan is one of the most watched and quoted and followed persons in, in personal development history. He is the author of not one but three New York Times best-selling books, including The Motivation Manifesto. He is the top 100 most followed public figures on Facebook with over 10 million fans on all of his pages. His personal de development videos have been seen by over a hundred million people. Two million students, myself being one of them, and maybe some of you as well, have taken one of his online courses. And there are tens of thousands of people who have attended his live seminars all around the world. He's a P90X grad, loves Beachbody and what we do, and it is my honor and pleasure to introduce to you Mr. Brendan Burchard, everybody. You can make it if you try. You can make it if you try. You can make it if you try. And what I'd like to share with you is the five personal musts for motivation and success. Don't write it because I think it's so important to get to these points. For those who have families, you love them. Just love them with everything you've got. Well, here, I would have never got to meet people like this. I didn't meet a kid from Butte, Montana. They're, they're so driven and they, they have high ambitions. And not just for you, but for themselves and their family, for me even. They both raise my game as much as I try to raise them. And I, and I love hanging out with them. You're hanging out with Tony Horton or something, you never know what they're going to do. They're going to surprise you. They always got a big dream for you. They're going to challenge you to do something. You can be hanging out with Tony Horton. He'll just walk along and be like, Go! Go!
This is cool. I love these LEDs. <laughs> <laughs> Look at, look at all the power back here to get this thing going. And they got stickies on the way in and out. Insane. I think sometimes right before an event, especially like right now, if I haven't slept or traveled in, there's lots of expectations. It's just like, I feel really grounded in gratitude to get to walk out on stage and talk to 10,000 people twice in one day. You know, um, it's a blessing. That's what I think. One, grateful. Two, my mind immediately goes in after speech and I go, what could I have done better? You know, what could I have given better? What story could have landed better? Where was my energy? Um, this, this one, you know, the audience gave a standing ovation. 10,000 people give me a standing ovation. You feel that, it's real. Uh, but also in your mind, if you know you're not at your best, and I'm not disappointed anyway, I'm super grateful. I'm just always, when I get off stage, I'm like, like, I want that mastery process in my head going, okay, what else next time? 
All right, so that's been my last couple of weeks on the road sharing the message about high performance habits. Please support the book. Um, if you've been wondering how to reach that next level of success, you need some new practices. You know, we all think that, well, it's certain kinds of people who get ahead and, and that maybe they're just lucky, but what we found from the research is it's not about a specific type of person or personality or, or strengths profile that makes someone successful at all. It's not about a specific type of person. It's about a specific set of practices. And in the book, you can see, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's these six habits. There's clarity, energy, necessity, productivity, influence, and courage. And those might sound like common sense, but it's not always common, set, uh, common practice for people. And so if you really want to go to another level of life success, please look at your habits. Do a full audit. Being like, how, how are you really spending your time? What are you really focusing on? What's really important to you? Because people want practices. They, they, they want to know, Brennan, what do I need to do specifically on a daily or weekly or monthly basis to succeed over the long term? And not just like financial success, which is important, or career success, which is important, but what's important about this book is it shows that you can succeed over the long term and be less stressed than your peers, happier than the average person, and that you can maintain your own well-being, health, and positive relationships as you succeed. Because a lot of us are scared that when we go to the next level, that it's gonna make compromises on our family, or our relationships, or even our character. And it's just not that true. That there are ways to succeed over the long term that are replicable, that you can do. And I say, you know, if you're gonna start any new habits, start the habits in this book. Because out of 100 different performance variables that we measured in the world's largest high performance study with data from over 190 countries, these six habits matter the most in helping somebody succeed over the long term. So please check it out. If you want to go to the next level, you have to speak up more for what you really feel, what you really think, what you really need, what you desire, what your dreams are. Share them with the world. I never thought I'd be on private planes flying around the world. I'm this kid from a small town in Montana. I never thought I'd be on those big stages. I, mean, I never thought I'd be working on my sixth book, my third New York Times bestseller, I hope. I never imagined that for myself, but I also never limited my vision. Never limit your vision for tomorrow based on your current circumstances. I know you might be in struggle or challenge and really want to go to the next level and it's been a hard road. Believe in yourself. Believe in your ability to figure things out. All you have to do is get a new set of habits that help you stay more focused on what matters and do a better job in those areas. And there's productivity strategies, there's influence strategies, there's ways of developing clarity and generating your energy so that you can sustain success over the long haul. That's what the book is about, that's what this tour has been about, and I hope that you'll support it. So if you've watched any of my videos before or enjoyed any of my books, please support High Performance Habits. It's my most important book and that's all I'm doing is working 24-7 on, on planes, trains, automobiles, helicopters, trying to serve you and bring this message to the world. You don't have to be a specific type of person, you have to practice a specific set of practices. Practice these six practices and you will get ahead in life. Thank you for your time and I thought I'd just show you this beautiful view to end this video. yet to learn to listen through the fear. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my new podcast, 
The Brendan Show. It's available on iTunes and Stitcher and wherever else you get your podcasts. And it's the exclusive place where I share my thoughts about life, about current events, about what I'm going through, about my advice for you as you seek to live an even more extraordinary life. It's called The Brendan Show, and it's available anywhere you get your podcasts, so make sure you subscribe. And if you're ready to take your life to a whole new level, make sure you grab my book, High Performance Habits, How Extraordinary People Become That Way. It's available on Amazon right now. And when you order your copy, you're really supporting my channel and the message. And you're also getting a book that will reveal to you 20 years of my research into what is it that helps people go to a new level of success in their life. What does it really take? What habits are proven to help you reach long-term success in your career, your health, your personal life, your relationships? It's called High Performance Habits, How Extraordinary People Become That Way. It's available on Amazon right now. And finally, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get notifications every time I release a new video. And by subscribing, you support me, my message, and this channel. So I'd really appreciate it. Make sure you hit subscribe.